Hey guys, Dave from Wolf Art Hobbying here, and today we're going to take a look at painting a rotten bell from the Resurrectionist faction for Malifaux. Uh, she was primed in white, and I did come in and airbrush this uh, kind of rotten greenish skin tone. Uh, the colors I used for that skin tone was a 4 to 1 mixture of 4 golden olive to 1 Rackarth flesh. Uh, gives you that muted uh, down green color. But in this video, we're going to take a look at painting her dress. And this is one of my wife's Malifaux models. So uh, she does want it in pink. So that's what we're going to go for. Now I'm going to go for a kind of a darker pink. Uh, and so we're going to come in with four, uh, three drops of Emperor's Children and one drop of Screamer Pink. Uh, this will give us a nice deep... Uh, dark color to work with. It's almost uh, kind of a maroon color, but with these Malifaux models, they have a lot of extremely small details. So you want to be careful when you're base coating uh, large areas like this. But as this is our first base coat, not worrying too much about uh, and the back part here, just going to slap on the color. And as you can see, it's nice, uh, deep, deep pink. It's not too bright um, as uh, I didn't want to make it too bright as it wouldn't really fit the theme of Malifaux. Uh, if you've never played Malifaux before, Malifaux is uh, kind of a steampunk magic universe, uh, very dark and gritty, uh, things like that. So I didn't want this to be an extremely bright pink for a essentially a zombie um, style model. So. As you can see here, just being careful, uh, don't want to get this color anywhere else because I don't want to try and come back and touch up the little holes in her stockings with the, with the skin tone. So I've switched to my detail brush to get the, the front part of these furls on the dress. And just being very mindful. As you can see, I've also done her hat in this color as well. I'm not worrying too much about getting in behind the legs as uh, uh, this is just going to be tabletop standard uh, as I paint most of my models that way. Just want to make sure that uh, getting everything. Um, this part, especially on these bells, they're um, it's very tricky to get into those little cracks and crevices there, uh, even with a detail brush. So flipping the model here, just get at a better angle. And uh, there we go. So that's the first coat of our pink. And this is uh, what we're going to be working off of here. Uh, this is the color I kind of enjoy painting it. It's a really nice color. Uh, might have to do some other models that way. But with the second base coat dry, we're now going to come in and start highlighting up the dress. So I'm coming in with four drops of Emperor's Children and one drop of Screamer Pink. Uh, this is only going to brighten up the color a tiny bit, but with our detail brush, I'm going to come in here and just essentially just hit the folds on the dress uh, and all the waves and curves in the uh, the dress just to uh, make make those little details pop a little bit more. So we're going to be very selective um, on the bottom, just catching the furls, um, not too worried if I go too broad of a stroke as when this dries it does become um, not that noticeable of a highlight which is what I want uh, especially for the darker areas I just want to give it a little bit of separation but don't want it too stark of a highlight so as you can see again just going along the edges it does look a little brighter here but uh, with all paints, they do become uh, darker when they do dry. So you got to keep that in mind when you are uh, building up your highlights as well. But you can already see that there's a nice separation, uh, nice little highlight on this. Um, the reason I, I do these highlights and not just jumping straight to uh, a bright highlight right away is I find if you build up at least um, two layers of highlights, I find on the tabletop they really pop and uh, that's kind of what we want with these models. 
because they have such small small details on them you want those details to really show um, uh, unlike 40k models and things like that where there's a lot of flat areas uh, I find a Malifaux's got a lot of detail to uh, kind of break up some of those areas so and this highlight like I said is not going to be a big separation from our base color it's just a tiny bit brighter so it will just to give us separation um, our next highlight will break up a lot of those areas in the model so but as you can see we've already got a nice kind of highlight going there uh, it does get darker when it dries so now I'm coming in with just straight Emperor's pink <clears throat> sorry Emperor's children and uh, my light source I'm kind of going from that direction uh, so I'm going to just hit the top of the hat here just to give you an idea um, and this one is just going to be a fairly straight edge highlight so just that we're not going too far with this highlight um, just because we don't want to go too bright of a pink but again this is personal preference so you can uh, go as far as you want and go up into even a pale pink if you want but just as you can see here the top folds I'm really making sure I hit those parts as that's where the light would catch the most and um, I'm skipping some of the uh, mid furls um, and even some of the lower parts as uh, you don't really want a highlight down there because it's not really where the light would catch but um, again it's your model if you're following a long paint in the same model you can uh, paint it however you like so with that mid furl I did decide to come back in and hit those ones but just the tips just as you can see here just where the light source would catch those uh, creases in her dress just very very simple simple highlight um, again down here you wouldn't really have a lot of light hitting there but uh, I look at it and there's not a lot of separation uh, and I want to break up the model uh, with this highlight so Again, take this highlight as far as you want or as less as you want. It's all up to you. Whatever you feel, um, whatever you feel is the is a good uh, standard for however you want to get these on the table. So just going over the entirety of the dress, just checking where the light would be. Um, again, using my lamp kind of as a light source, but. Um, and again, in here you wouldn't really get a lot of uh, highlight here, but because this paint is thinned down, um, you can just lightly edge highlight that and it'll give you a little bit more separation. But that's pretty much about it. That's as far as we're really going to go with this highlight process here. So just catching the bottom parts of the dress uh, I don't worry too much about the front part of the dress as you wouldn't really get too many uh, highlights there uh, I did catch it with the uh, mixture of the 4 to 1 mixture so you could get it here but just skipping ahead here because I was just looking over the model decided to add a little bit more pink to the hat just to give it a little bit more uh, of a pop because this is the highest point on the model so I figured she could use a little bit more pink up there but that's it um, just kind of looking around seeing if I want to put this anywhere but that's essentially it that's as far as I want to take the pink color so uh, stay tuned for the next video we are going to paint the corset and the stockings her gloves um, pretty much get the rest of the model ready to go for the tabletop uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, comment, subscribe, share it. Um, I am on Facebook at Wolfheart Hobbying. I do have a Patreon account. The link will be in the video description below. Uh, so if you guys want to show some support that way, if you like the model. Also, leave a comment on uh, any videos you'd like to see me do, whether it's more battle reports, product reviews, uh, painting tutorials, whatever you'd like. Um, so thanks again guys for watching the video, um, 
Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.